Today, we're gonna to turn this blank into a chartreuse lure. And I have the feeling I'm gonna make a couple mistakes. Let's get to work. And through the magic of television, I'll apply the opaque white. I've been wanting to paint a chartreuse lure, so that'll be the first color we put down. This fluorescent chartreuse. This is a very transparent color, so we'll have to add a number of layers. I probably added about four or five layers to make the color as true as possible. I decided to add a mesh to add a scaling effect, and this mesh is very fine. From my experience, fine mesh has trouble showing through a lure that has texture, so I'm a little concerned with this lure. As I'm adding the alligator clips, I try to be careful not to scratch the bottom. I'm going to go across the back of the lure with opaque blue. This will come out a little green looking and it should look pretty cool. Yes, I tried to paint with the compressor off. I'm going to go across the center of the back with opaque black. While spraying this, I realized that the airbrush is acting up a little, but I soldier on anyway without cleaning it. I give the lure a quick heat set before I remove the mesh. I'm going to add some stripes with some sapia ink. Before I spray, I cut a stencil out of an index card so I can have uniform stripes. My initial idea is to have some faint stripes going down the back. Because I didn't address the issues earlier with the airbrush, I'm having trouble controlling it now. So much for faint stripes.
With the sapia, I'm going to try to blend in the stripes with the top. This is where issues with the airbrush rear its ugly head again. I cleaned the area as best I could with a Q-tip and some paint cleaner. Now I'm going to darken the eyes. I got a new tube of super glue so it's easier to add the dollop behind the eye. I'm still a little salty about the mess from the airbrush issue earlier. Finally, it's time to add the epoxy clear coat. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not your mom or anything.